I want to take you back to when you were a kid. Uh, you had pretty severe asthma, I think, from five to ten years old. How, how bad did it get? Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was, um, you know, my first experiences with going to the hospital, struggling um, and feeling like I was a fragile child. I really grew up with that sensation, you know, of like needing um, protection, needing my mom, um, just because I, you know, always had to have my medicine on me, always had to be careful. My my um, colds were always aggravated into like an asthma episode. So it was never just like, I'm going to get sick for a few days and sneeze a little bit and that's going to be it. It always went into my lungs. And so that always made it a little bit more complicated. How often would you have to go to the hospital? Um, really stay in the hospital? I don't remember, maybe like twice a year. And I understand you would have to miss out on things that your older sister would do. Yeah, I had less freedom. You know, I, it was harder to just send me to like camps and like to go stay with children. Like my sister used to travel a lot and to like um, summer camp and stuff like that. And I just, you know, because of my asthma, I, I didn't really have that freedom for a while. So your dad gave you your first surfboard, I believe. How true is it that it took you a month before you could stand up on yeah, it? Yeah, it's very true. I was terrible at uh, surfing. Um, I had the tendency of popping up with my knee, which I still do to this day. And in surf school, I was like always kind of the worst, <laughs> but I instantly fell in love with the sport. And I think the fact that it was so hard for me made it more engaging and more challenging. So that was part of the fun for me as well. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, I just kept trying. And so you're saying I should feel better about uh, my experience yesterday? Yes, absolutely. I mean, who wants to just pick up something and have it so easy that it's it's there already? You know, you got to work towards something. How true is it that you didn't like sand for the yeah. longest time? We were never like a, a family that really went to the beach a lot, right? My dad is an intellectual, uh, at the time politician. My mom's into fashion design. So I was not um, familiar with sand. And, and then when I fell in love with surfing, you know, my passion was the water. <laughs> and so like this connection with just hanging out on the beach was never something that clicked for me. And you didn't swim for a long period of yeah. time too, right? Yeah, I started swimming later. Um, I swam very little when doctors told me that swimming was good for my asthma, but I didn't really engage in the sport and I quit. And then I started dancing a lot as, as a child to support my asthma and because I really loved it. And then, after I started surfing and I didn't have much of a, a water skill, I needed to be able to swim. Then that's when I started looking into learning um, how to swim from point A to point B.